You know, the last time we sat down with Kim, she had just completed rehab following her arrest at a Beverly Hills hotel. Since then, she's been arrested again for shoplifting and had to deal with the death of her best friend and ex-husband, Monty. Now the former Beverly Hills housewife is about to make her debut on another high-intensity reality show. Here's the big question. Can she stay sober? I asked her about it. Don't tell me what to do. I'm defending myself. Walking into it was not what I expected. Oh, Just watch me. Don't touch her. Just say Beverly Hills. Was there some concern being in that kind of environment as you are dealing with your sobriety and then all of a sudden you're cast in an environment where people are drinking and the, there's madness going it on? It wasn't tempting for me in any way, if anything. When you see something like that, you almost go like, whew, thank God it's not me. It's like Kim's repeating the reality TV cycle of madness. And she's even bringing her daughter, Kimberly, into it on Lifetime's The Mother-Daughter Experiment Celebrity Edition. But Kim's nemesis this time isn't Sister Kyle or Lisa Renna, it's Heidi Montag. You shoved Heidi, though. She likes to stir the... Mm. How are you gonna stop from being pushed to that point? I didn't say I was. <laughs> right, but I'm saying if you do. Let's be honest right here. Let's have an honest moment. But you push you know... me, there's no telling that I'm not gonna go like, Right now, Kim's in recovery and goes to weekly meetings. She's trying to heal, but it's very clear she's still raw from the pain of losing her ex-husband and best friend, Monty Brinson. He was glad he was going first because he didn't think he could bear if it were me, and then he had to be left here. <laughs> Monty. What were your final words with Monty? I, just, I, I said, I love you. And then uh, I felt him just kind of leave, and it was, Shocking! I just, I didn't expect it. I really you thought you were holding him. Mm -hmm. I was, right there, holding. Yeah. Him. How did that affect you? And how, how did it affect your life, your sobriety? When was the last time you had, say, a drink? I'll just say that my recovery is going amazing. It really is. After nearly a year, Kim returns to the Real Housewives tonight to face off with Kyle. But I used our exclusive sit down to clear up some rumors. There had even been speculation that you were at one point homeless. What was that about? I'm living, you know, in a $400 a night, you know, hotel in Santa Monica overlooking the beach, and people are like, she's homeless. So, you know, oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's hardly homeless. <laughs> and while drunken cat fights and a mugshot are the images of Kim everyone knows, we all hope her tough journey will turn and have a happier ending. I've told you today more than I'll probably tell anybody ever again. This is the last time I'll discuss my recovery publicly because I want to get it one last time out there to people to know I'm in recovery and it's mine and it's nobody's business. What do you think? I want to believe her. Yeah, it seems like the car is headed in the right direction. She just got to keep it on the road. But we are definitely rooting for Kim, yes, right? Yes, we certainly wish her the best.